characters. There you go. Let's get into game number one. We got the Gunner versus Luigi. Not a matchup you see any day, <laughs> but right here, Valhalla top eight. Let's see what the Gunner has. It got the grenade launcher. Got the uh, the missiles, the Samus missiles too. A uh, better than Samus missiles even. Uh, and, and these are great because Luigi wants to approach with those dash shields, right? Mm. And if you get stuck in shield when the grenade oh. launcher is out, that's not great. These combos, though, look at the way Lugi converts those. Even when it's not a zero to death, the damage is racking so fast. And you have to just deal with that. Like You can be a zoner all you want, but eventually mm. you're going to have to deal with kind of the uh, difference in damage. Oh. And confirms oh. like that. One grab, one straight thing, and next thing you know, you're looking at your second stock with Nordics. A little bit quiet right now. Yeah. I can't hear them at all. <laughs> They're giving it, giving it their best, but too uh, too quiet over, over the sound of these uh, super jump punches landing. <laughs> you can see Lugi just playing it slow, using that Zare to flank away to protect us, and then approaching. And that's the thing I like about Lugi. He says, "Hey, Luigi's not that great at approaching. All right, so I won't. I won't. I'll just throw out these fireballs, these Zares. Essentially, pell you with these possible mistakes that you can make. And as soon as you do make one." tries to force his way in, tries to go for that mix-up, and it's all about out-patterning the Luigi, right? Just mm. getting past the patterns, establishing your own, and right now, Luigi's pattern is just a little bit more complex, a little bit more nuanced, and this mix tape not keeping up, getting these back throws, getting a little bit of a trap here, and the this is where me, Gunner, is very strong. Let's see what kind of traps we got. Yeah, setting all the missiles, trying to catch him with his up as, you know, does last for a long time, that's the F2 as well. All the explosions happening, but still Luigi and Luigi himself going through that Minecraft, getting the Z. Oh, doesn't get that one. The grab and kill, but finally up to on the tip side, and we're back even. Oh no, My we're bad. not back even. My bad. Luigi with the respawn grab into the, the, uh, the eye reaction. Very, very well done. Lugi evening it up. Gets a grab at zero. Let's see what we got. Good as the eye, but the damage to match 58 already. Yeah, look, the jab locks just can't find it. Oh, now have the up smash. Definitely like Simon, like you said before yourself, Ramsey. Just can't find that initial hitbox, but still, Lugi just applying so much pressure off these Zares. Oh? And the air smash is definitely going to get you. A beat? No, oh, yeah, good no back end, though. No back air either. Lugi dropping a confirm, but still in the lead here. Still in the driver's seat. These zoning patterns just not really stopping Lugi's approaches. Finally gets a trap with the grenade launcher. That's the bread and butter. Now sets up a ledge trap here, gets the jump read, but Lugi breaks through. Yeah, that 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 Nair just winning out in that situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the uh, the the uh, the Zeta just staying out a little bit, allowing the the explosion to push the Schmidt's tape away. So. Back into this neutral and trying to find our way in. Threading the needle, gets that parry, but doesn't get a punish. A little bit too much distance on that, and that dash attack gets the, the, the out. But the up smash will confirm it. First game over to Luigi. Name a more iconic duo. Luigi and rolling in and up smashing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's what Luigi players kind of have to do. It's like kind of you be shameless to. with it, you know? Yeah. It's a really good, actually, approach tool to kind of roll in and then get your fast button out or just your invincible yeah. buttons out, you know what I mean? Like, Luigi is such a bulldozer of a character. And as soon Candy, as you, all yeah. he wants to do is kind of be near you. So if you can force those roll-ins, uh, you're going to have to be looking out for that a lot of the time. And Taudi had, or Schmick said, I say, had no answer to it at the moment. That's the thing, right? You want to cover a roll-in, you have to play it slow. You gotta wait for the roll in, react and punish it. And you can, if, if, if you are playing it slow. But if you're establishing like these walls, if you're establishing pressure already, well, the, the forward roll just kind of sneaks its way in, right? And so it's all about that balance between establishing pressure, setting up that pressure, uh, giving your opponent a li little bit of room, essentially, and using that room yourself to set up pressure uh, versus being more reactive. Let's see if this combo leads into anything crazy and that yeah. is a KO. <laughs> oh, well. Let's, let's see. Uh, what was that, 10 seconds? <laughs> We're already a stock down. That's what it takes. Yeah. Mixtake, again, on the back foot, needs to just try and recalibrate um, himself here. I don't know how you do that after that, man. I'm yeah. the first game, yeah. and the first, I mean, the first one of the second game, even like this. I'd all, be tilted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lie. We have to see the test of the momentum, or the mentality as well. Big down smash for the me gunner. Very potent move from that kit as well. So uh, far, though, I mean, after that, you know, that oh, yeah. very expensive start, is Ooh. looking like, you know, has traded this great back. Only 10% difference. He managed to get the re recalibration that we were talking about. That's why he's number 15 in Europe. <laughs> okay, big dash second level. The Nair taken out for a long time, but here we go. Lugi conversion, maybe. Gonna reverse the up air. Yup, another one, two, oh. three, four, five, six. What's that? Into the back air. That was so many. This man was doing so many kicks, kick flipping all over our uh, Smith's right now. Production, we need a, um, a uh, an, an up tilt high score, please. <laughs> and the down throw yeah. into the down B, chasing the DI, getting the KO. Lugi. 
even if he's not getting the zero to death, his confirms are so well placed. He's always perfectly aware of what the most optimal confirm is. And those up air bridges, they're that's a lasting impression right there. And now it's up to the Schmick Ooh. state to equalize. And that's number 15 like in Europe. That. Just like that. <laughs> Ramsey's definitely not letting us or the crowd or Twitch stop forget that this guy is top 50 in Europe. And I can see why, man. Keep it even with Lugi, who's definitely higher than that. But still, <laughs> this second game, looking a lot more even, a lot more zoning coming out as well. And I feel like Schmick State finally setting into what he can do. Tries to get the roll read there, can't find it. That parry attempt oh, is not working out. Oh, and now we're going to get a conversion. Yes, we are Lugi. Just, you know what, saying? Let's. 2-0, where are we going next? Always, you know how sometimes there's like, you know, one step forward, two steps back. It was always like, like nine steps forward for Lugi, but then, you know, in like an instant. And then the Spring was always just slowly grinding one out. But when you're in those situations and you're even, and you're rather, you're not ahead, yeah. you're going to be on the, on the losing end of that kind of back and forth. Agree, agree. And so Lugi grabs the momentum in these games. That's, that's the biggest thing. He grabs the momentum, he sets the pace. And I think the thing that Schmick State wants here, is honestly to zone a little bit less and move a little bit more. Because the zoning patterns are not keeping Lugi out. So if you cannot rely on your zoning, well, you gotta be moving out of the way. You cannot let Lugi sneak his way in like that because he's getting past your pattern. Yeah, and you see the roll in from the game uh, from the game to the start immediately just there. Uh, Lugi so quickly to get involved. He's supposed to be next to you to cause some damage. Just Cowdy or Schmickstake just can't let them get inside them right now. Bro, up there is a frame trap, but the misses the forward tilt. And now we already see Schmickstake just fighting a little bit more, relying a little bit more on his walling normals, finally setting up camp, but you can see he's ready to move in afterwards, right? He's moving forward, going for uh, these nares, going for these forward airs that are retreating at the same time, right? Kind of mixing up the normals and the specials, and that is when you have a good keep awakening. It's that balance, and you can see Lugi struggling more than he has at any other moment in the set so far. Mm. I think you're right as well, you know, just keeping that that, that space, but most importantly, having that anticipation to move in. You know, the, the whole essence of hit confirming, knowing that if you get what you need, you can you can like capitalize in an instant. Don't let those opportunities that you have to get to get leads Ooh. go away and goes for a nice charge up smash and takes that lead that that Strickland has been looking for. Tries to get the second one a little bit more overextension. Are you going to get punished for it? Okay, guess it's correctly on the DI with that uh, confirmed from this down B. Still living now. How much can they take before Luki eventually gets that stop? Roll in. Not just a dash in up smash this time. <laughs> but dash either way, weasel his way in and yeah. up smashes. <laughs> and that is that is what separates the great from the good Luigi's, right? Mm. How consistently can you weasel your way in? It doesn't have to be a big punish, but this could be one. The SBI comes out, does Luigi react, and Luigi does and finishes it off beautifully. And that lead that Schmidt State had just uh, just got evaporated mm. in the blink of an eye. I feel like production was all sitting pretty. And I was like, you know what? It's about to go to the next set. We'll have to <laughs> get ready to get this one lo locked and loaded. But either way, uh, finally, Schmidt State keeping it locked and loaded with all these projectiles as well. Grenade on the platform or on the ledge as well. Where the hell do you go? Sets up for themselves too. It's a complete bomb field, but Lugi still looks so confident. Hopefully that won't be his downfall in this third game. Yeah, but yeah, though he gets what he needs, but he does manage to get oh. out of it. Go for another grab. There's the up air. Oh, and doesn't connect that final hit. That was all off a of Zed trade, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> all off a of Zed trade. The awareness of uh, on Lugis confirms is on a whole nother level. It's very much about, know, about knowing your roots in. Does get the confirmation, and that'll be it. 3-0 to Lugi. Did you see how quickly he, he snatched out the AirPod on the Dude. left side and said, you know what? Let's just bump it out. It's over. Uh, GG's friend, though. And uh, Lugi going to take that 3-0. Mm. Super confident. This kid is, uh, is a wonder. You know what I mean? I think one thing I've always like liked about Lugi from like watching him is you can, uh, you can always see like his energy. He's yeah. always been one of those players who just kind of really enjoys being in it and just playing. And you can see that... You know, the whole point of fighting games, right? You want to enjoy playing the game A, but you also want to enjoy making your opponents suffer. <laughs> right? So, you know, when you do those things that are just really awful, and everyone's just like, nah, nah, bro, nah. He's like, yeah, great, I'm having a good time.